Guys, I come here today with terrible news. Science does not exist, and it's your enemy. Yes, it's true. Science is only there to mess up your life. I found that out as I was in my car right after I got a vaccine, and all of a sudden this notification popped up on my cell phone. I was so shocked that I logged into my Facebook account right away and started to protest. Many people listened to me and I became a kind of messiah for them. But unfortunately, most of them died because they didn't take the vaccines I took before they found out the great danger they were in, of course. Exactly 15 minutes ago, a factory exploded and completely destroyed the suburbs of Megalopolisville. With absolutely no warning and taking authorities and the population completely by surprise, and everyone wondered, where is the society of virtue when no one even knew they needed them? I can't believe this. Thousands of dead people. And it's not just thousands of people. There are thousands of that kind that we believe deserve hashtags on Twitter. We have to do something. Yeah, the only problem is that it is usually more efficient to do something before something happens. It gives a much better result. That's exactly my idea. What do you mean? What if Big Bang started flying around the Earth, taking several laps around the planet? I don't know if I understand. If he flies fast enough, he can make the Earth start spinning backwards, and then everything will start to go back as well as if he was going back in time, and we can stop the explosion at the factory. Back in time? He can do that? Oh, wait up. So, you're saying that time that that bomb went off because I got there late? Or that truck that hit the school because I wasn't paying attention and went to the wrong address? Or that fire that I couldn't put out because I had an insane hangover? It was all Big Bang's fault? My fault? So, you could have kept me from taking those pictures of Black Badness sleeping naked with my cell phone that was stolen last week? My god, how have you been so irresponsible, Bing Bang? Wait. What? Every time the elevator door closed in my face when I was late. Every time I spilled soy sauce on my shirt. Every time I hit my toe on my bed. You could have avoided all this by turning the planet Earth around and making all humanity go back in time. You're a monster, Big Bang. A monster! Guys, you don't understand. This is not how this works. Oh, really? Now you're gonna say it's scientifically impossible to go back in time by making the Earth spin backwards? What are you talking about? That's one of the dumbest ideas I've ever heard. Doesn't make any sense. Of course it doesn't. You know why? There is no terrestrial glow. The Earth is flat. I didn't want to freak you out, but that's the truth. The Earth is an island in the middle of space with ice around it for water not to fall off, with a glass vial on top as if it were Tupperware. There is no way to spin a flat Earth the other way. Okay, so that makes a lot more sense now. I discovered this when I wanted to go to the moon to find evidence of man landing there, but I found out that this was also a lie created by the government to hide the truth. In fact, it's all very obvious, clear and very well grounded with facts and evidence. What is the truth that the government wants to hide then? Nobody has a clue. I can't believe you're making this up just so you don't have to go back in time and keep me from spending $300 on the color bombs in Candy Crush using Majestic's credit card. What? I always found it strange, this story about the Earth being round. It never made much sense in my head, but I also don't know if I believe in a flat land with ice edges so water won't leak, and a glass bowl where the sun and the moon are spinning inside like those hanging toys in a baby crib. For me, the good old giant turtle that carries the flat Earth on its back makes a lot more sense. Quick, Lamparadai, you need to go inside the robot to deprogram him. Right now, Black Badness? Jolly hockey sticks. I thought there would be more cranks and screws and transistors and less SIM cards and iPhones and things I can't operate. What's happening in there? Shouldn't he have turned this robot off by now? Hello? Who is this? It's me, Big Bang! I need your help! What? What do you want? I'm looking for the shutdown system in the robot, but I have no clue where I can find this! Oh my god! 
What are you seeing in front of you? What do you mean? I see the screen. Okay, now open the browser. The browser? Lord, click on the blue circle with the rainbow around it. Now there's a screen saying I have to update my Flash Player. So do it! If I knew how to do that, I wouldn't be calling you! Why don't you just read what it says there? It says to press download. So press download! Now what? I can't believe this. Aren't you supposed to be a science genius? Not all science uses Windows or computers. Have you already accessed his system? No. I got a message here asking to update my bank info. But I can't remember my password. What? No. Don't type in your password. If I don't update my bank info, how am I going to pay the fee to keep my WhatsApp from being blocked? It won't be. It's a scheme, Lemperidae. Focus on turning off the giant robot. What do I have to do? I don't know. Go to settings. Oh my god, this is taking forever. I can see the system. Now what? What does it say on the screen? Is there any button that says turn off robot? There are some small screens on the left side and a big screen on the right side with a smiling paper clip guy talking to me. Are you on fucking PowerPoint? I'm doing exactly what you tell me to do. <sighs> you know what? Just break everything you see in there and have no clue what it is. Why didn't you say that before? Am I the only one worried that Lemperidae reinstalled the aquarium oxygen system for that fish mermaid something boy man? Yeah, I've actually been calling him for the last three minutes and it's going straight to voicemail. You must be wondering, Jack, how can I fight science if I don't even know exactly what science is or what it looks like? Okay, it's not that hard. Science is made of test tubes with blue liquids, colorful smoke, people who have spent their lives studying and think they're better than you, and all the things that go against your particular beliefs and make you wonder if you really are that unique and special person you would like to be. Your life is not in vain. There is a magnificent higher plan for you. Where am I? Who are you? Welcome, Mr. Brown. I'm Dr. Lewis, and you're recovering in our intensive care ward. You were taken down during combat, but we were able to save you. Oh my god. I remember now. Thank you. I... I don't even know how to thank you. Do not worry. That's what we do here, and we're not going to let you die. Wow, that is great. Well, thank you again very much, but I have to go home to my wife and son. They must be very worried. Where can I change? Uh, change? Yeah, out of this metal armor and put on some clothes. It's going to look a little weird walking around like this, right? People are going to think I'm a robot or something. <laughs> Um, I don't think you understand. We're kind of turning you into a super police officer with super strength, bulletproof, and with a laser sniper scope. Mmm, nah. I'd rather not. Thank you, though. What do you mean? I don't think I want that, but thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, I mean, don't you want to maybe reconsider? Like, maybe don't you think that this is an incredible idea? I think I'd just rather not do it at all. Okay, so I'm gonna be on my way now. Where did you put my clothes? As I said, you were severely wounded. Yes, in the arm. They shot my arm off. I remember that. And they shot you in the head. You were dead. We were able to bring you back to life. And I'm very, very grateful, really. I'll send you a Christmas card every year. Right, it's just that we've kind of like already done most of the work. You were unconscious, so I think we're having a bit of a misunderstanding here. We started with your legs and we got carried away, and then... Wait, 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 wait. What? What did you do with my legs? Well, what did you expect us to do? Your flimsy flesh and bone legs would not be able to support all the rest of you. All the rest? What the f*** are you talking about? All of it. But you still have your, uh, head. What? All of it? This... This is it? This is me? Are you fucking crazy? Did you, oh God, did you take away my dick? Well, it was gonna look kind of weird having a meat penis just hanging there in the middle of a metal body. It wouldn't be ethical, would it? And a bit creepy. I see, okay. 
I'm not going to be your slave robot. I don't want to fight crime anymore. You'd better fix this. I don't care. Yeah, I don't think you really have much of a choice. We pretty much own 70% of you now. Dr. Lewis, there was an accident on the highway. Seven people dead. But on the other hand, it looks like you're getting a new family. Okay, guys. If you believe me and understand how bad science is for you, congratulations. I dream of a world where all people who don't believe in science stop taking medicines, going to hospitals, communicating through their phones, internet, or any language known to man. I'm sure we'll build a much better world like this. I'm with you guys. Don't give up.